This is Andrew with The Chosen Prime with a quick video review of Masterpiece uh, Red Bumblebee or MP21R or Bumble Red Body. Essentially he is a red version of the previous Masterpiece Bumblebee just done up in red which is a ver color variant that came in both the Microman line as well as in some cases in the US. Um, in the box he comes with the uh, back wheel cover which I've installed to kind of differentiate him. He does come with the same hand pistol that uh, Bumblebee came with. He also comes with the only one additional face, which is the one that originally Bumblebee came with. This is the smiling face, as well as, you know, the set of mirrors that you can install. And again, Bumblebee only comes with the one mirror that fits on his left side, just like what the original car does. When comparing him to his original Moldmate Bumblebee, um, as you can see, you get a nice glossy red paint, just like what Bumblebee had. But the differences are you have a chrome bumper on the front and the back. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same. Same good build quality, same good paint across the two. And so we'll go ahead and transform and show off uh, Red Bumblebee. So to transform Red Bumblebee, you first go ahead and we need to pry open this panel so that we can come up. So the easiest way I find is to kind of pull the side panels down a little bit to let us then go ahead and pull this up this way. And so first and foremost, we need to get this panel here into this channel here. So you gotta fold it all the way down so it fits into the channel and then you rotate it in and you can kind of see there it'll channel into his torso. Go ahead and work on his legs, go ahead and split them. You want to pull this leg out so it's straight. You do it on both sides. Um, go ahead and tilt the foot down, rotate this wheel in, and then come around here to this, this side. And what you want to do is you want to fold this in that way and that way. And there's one foot, so we do the same thing the other one. Fold it up, rotate the way the wheel in. Fold, and fold again, and there's his feet. You come to the back, and what you want to do is you want to unpeg his hands and these side panels here so they can rotate down. And there's just a peg here on the top here, so you just kind of hold it and slide this down. We'll go ahead and pull the arms out. So the arms actually hold this piece, so there's a peg holding it on. So then pull that off, rotate the arm around, flip the fist out, and then this back panel here with the rear tire light just kind of folds underneath like that. Come to the other side, unpeg it from the side of the body, rotate, flip the hand out, move this panel down, and the hands are ready to go. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and flip the chest piece here. So we go ahead and turn it this way. You can see he's got a nice bright white and red Autobot symbol. Take his backpack and there's a pivot hinge right here. You want to take the entire backpack and rotate it around that way. And then you want to fold in the spoiler into the backpack. And again, you can kind of see, you can leave in the extra spare tire here at all times. And then finally, there's a little peg here behind the backpack that goes into his back. And there essentially is Red Bumblebee in his rubber mode. So Red Bumblebee does come with a little pistol that he can hold in either hand and it just slides in pretty simply. And you can kind of see this, the red on him is very, very striking. It's almost like a candy kind of apple red and it's a very nice gloss paint. Um, it just, it, it looks like a very, very sharp um, redeco of the character. And to compare him against uh, the original Bumblebee, <clears throat> here you go, you can see how the yellow and the wood work side by side. They're essentially the same figure again. To show off the differences in the heads, um, so the one on the red bumblebee up here is the default kind of just normal face that he comes with, and the alternate one that he that, uh, that each one would come with is the kind of the smiling face. Again, not much difference between the two, but those are the two heads that come with each one of these figures. Red bumblebee compared to the other Diaclone recolors from the masterpiece line. As you can see, if you like these alternate colors that have been coming out from Takara, uh, red bumbles, you have another one to add to your collection. So here's Red Bumblebee along some of the other Masterpiece Diaclone recolors. As you can see, he fits in quite well in Robo mode with the rest of these uh, interesting homages to the old Diaclone toys. And uh, this fits in well, and it's nice to see this whole set. So overall, Red Bumblebee is a great release from Takara. They've done a really good job of homaging that old uh, red variant of Bumblebee. Um, for people like myself, I actually grew up with a Generation 1 red bumblebee versus a yellow bumblebee. It's kind of cool to have this nice little uh, homage to that uh, character. 
Uh, currently, this version of Red Bumblebee is available for order at the Chosen Prime, and you come recommend it. So take care.